Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. I did everything I said I was going to do last night, I just didn't do it as quick. <laughs> I had to uh, finish cleaning that up this morning, do a little cleaning, give me some room in the shop again. Had a bunch of running around to do. Doggone, that stuff kills me. Had running around. Went and got me some bumpers. That's what these little rubber deals are called. They go on like your closet doors. You can put them in, I mean, a cupboard or on lamps and stuff. See right there? But that's what these are. And they're going to be alignment pins for me. <laughs> but, uh, and then I'm going to put another coat of wax on there. Another coat of Carnuba wax. Um, I don't know if brand names you know mean a whole lot I don't know yet it's, you know someone asked me if turtle wax was uh, was carnuba and here's a good rule of thumb if it ain't carnu if it don't say carnuba it's not carnuba it's uh, most of it's like polymers with uh, whatever that is I don't know but I like to use 100% carnuba wax and if you get 100% carnuba wax uh, Brand should mean, you know, almost nothing. You know, I don't knew myself, but I'm going to paste these on. Some of them are still on there from the last layup on my other wing. And I'm just going to let them bad boys ride. Oh, yeah, we're just going to let them stay on there. Now what this is, you guys know what this is going to do. See, when I lay this first layer of resin and cloth, it's going to make a cavity, okay? When I take all these parting planes off, I'll take all them rubber deals off too. And uh, then when I do my the other side of my mold, you know, my first part I laid up becomes my parting plane, and it'll have them cavities. Well, I fill them cavities up with resin, and I get interlocking pins and that means when I put my molds back together these seams match up perfectly I mean just just perfect as long as they don't come unstuck on the mold like what happened on this B1 you just really got to be careful trimming that stuff you know because that will make it pop loose off the side package now this is I've got two packages and that'll be funny so I'll be able to reuse them on my other parking planes because myself I don't think you can have too many of these alignment pins you know the more you put in the I don't know, I guess you can't put in too many, just like anything else. It would just be a hassle. Okay, but I don't want to put any on these sides, because this, this front piece has got to come off like this. So I can't put them on the sides, which uh, my other piece will be pretty firm, and my screw holes will keep that in line. I do want to put one down here, though. Sorry, you guys are still looking over there. What you still looking over there for? <laughs> uh, that 
that's all done. I see this is all nice, solid, rigid. You know, nothing's moving. Everything's solid. I got stuff shimmed up. I got it shimmed up in the front. And then right there. Right there. I got it shimmed up in the back. Then I got my wood shimmed up. And everything's glued. Everything is hot glue gunned in place. I didn't put a whole lot of glue on my wing, just in a couple little spots. But that's all it needed when you shim it all up solid. And then uh, shim that other thing up. Some other guy said something about, man, you just spent all that time waxing and uh, and getting that thing all shiny. Now I'm putting clay all over it and tape. Uh, that first layer of wax really just, all, most of that penetrates into the paint. That's what I want. That's why I worked it so hard into a lather like that is to get it to penetrate into the paint and uh, all that tape and stuff didn't hurt nothing now I'm going to put another layer on it though so I can get all my boards and everything else and my clay and just work it in same thing here Careful not to get too much. If you let it get too much, it just don't dry right. And uh, if don't dry right, and even consistency don't work right. You guys ever feel like you got the whole world looking over your shoulder? <laughs> That's what I feel like. Hey there, Rod. Rod, oh, uh, Patty's buddy in Australia. I'm going to ask you a favor. You do these and we'll be tight. You do this for me. This is what you want, I want you to do. You got to go over to Patty's house. Tell him to put his t-shirt on while you're on your way over there. When you get there, whip out your camera and take a picture of him. Bam! And send it to our website. <laughs> that's, that's Patty's buddy in Australia, Rod. And uh, let me see if I can't get him to do me a favor. Let's see. Let's just see if he does it. Come on, Rod. You got the world counting on you. that dry a little bit. Just let that dry for a minute. Do 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 do. How are we doing on time here? A minute left. Alright, that's what I'm going to do, people. Once this minute runs out, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting it waxed. And uh, get my resin dug out. And uh, I'll make y'all another movie. We'll, we'll make a few of them today. We're going to get this side molded up. And the resin's going to be flowing. Rubber gloves going to be on. We're on a mission now. Might even have a story or two for you guys this afternoon. You want to hear a story? I got a couple good ones. Yay or nay on the stories, guys. You like that? I'll tell you. I got a couple good ones, I'll tell you. 